Tabs organize content, allowing users to quickly navigate between sections of your application. Content in the tab should be of similar importance and be unique between tabs. You can use icons to distinguish your tabs, but like navigation links, keep the text concise and short. And if you're going to use icons, you must use them on all tabs for consistency. Otherwise, don't use them at all. Don't use tabs as a way to move sequentially through content like a wizard. There are other ways to do that in material. Content should never scroll behind the tabs. It should appear as one single pane of content that moves up and down the page. Changing tabs should be fast. Lazy load content after the tab selection is changed. It's frustrating when you click on a tab and it freezes because the content is loading behind the scenes. Let's add some tabs to our application now. In Visual Studio Code, we're going to add tabs to our orders module to show the open orders, shipments, and archived orders. So I'm gonna Command P, and I'm gonna open up the orders module, orders.module, and since this module is gonna be using the tabs and not the entire application, I'm just going to import it here on line six, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a comment on line seven that says these are the material components we're using, and we are going to import the mat tabs module from at Angular, material tabs. Now that I've done that, I can go down to line 13, add a comma, and we'll go ahead and add the mat tabs module here. And now we've imported it into the orders module. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the orders list components and show you some things that we can do here with tabs. Currently we just have a paragraph here that says order list works. I'll select all and just clear that out so we can go ahead and put our tabs on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a tab group and that is mat Tab group is the name of the directive. And I'll add three tabs with the label orders. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and make two more. Orders, shipments, and archived. Our orders are open orders, our shipments are records of shipments, and our archived are old orders that have previously been shipped. Now let's go ahead and put some content in here. I'm gonna show you something that's kind of good to know. This is orders here. And then I'll do the same thing in this mat tab. I'll say shipments here. And lastly, under archived, we'll put a paragraph that says really old orders here. Now let's go ahead and run our application and see what we've got. Now that the application is running, I'm gonna to return to Chrome and refresh the page. And from my navigation drawer, I'll select orders. And I see I've got my tabs and they go across the screen. I've got orders, shipments, and archived. Pretty good, right? Well, here's something very important to note. Remember earlier I said that we wanna make sure that we always switch our tabs and lazy load the content in a way that the tabs themselves are still quickly selected? Believe it or not, this is eager loaded when we do it this way. So that means if I had three queries here on orders, one for shipments and one for archive, they'd all be running at once and it would slow down the application. So we wanna go ahead and put a lazy fetch on these and there's a really cool way to do that in Angular Material. I just take this content in here and I put it inside a ng template and I'm gonna use the mat tab content directive and I'll go ahead and just copy that again around these. Put one on shipments and I'll go ahead and put another one on line 13 for archived orders. And I can command P greater than and say format if I wanna clean this up a little bit. And now we have it. Let's save that and the application's still running. I'll go back to my browser and let's see what it looks like now. It looks the same, right? But actually it's a big difference. So if you're gonna actually run queries here, this will lazy load the content. So just to be clear, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and change this content here under orders and say this is eager fetched. And then this is gonna be lazy loaded. So now when I open the application, you'll see what I'm talking about. Eager fetched lazy loaded. 
So make sure you do that with all your content and your tabs so the tab switching itself is still quick and you could show a loading icon or a spinner while you're fetching your data. You want your app to always be responsive. Every click should get an immediate response.